being a startup founder, especially in a place like Austin, Texas, you probably run in with some pretty big CEOs, people that run mm -hmm. large tech companies. Who would you say are some mentors that have helped you along your journey as yeah. a tech founder that you're currently working with or and they're just helping you guide along your journey to grow your company? Yeah, the most recent one I would say is the the Intel CEO, Pat Gelsinger. He's been extremely generous with this time. Uh, he's running a $200 billion company. Our company is worth a thousandth of that. And so like the fact that he's willing to give me the time of day, it's actually quite literally not worth his time, uh, like not even a couple of seconds. And the fact that he cares to be responsive, I think the only incentive he has from a just pure material standpoint is uh, the fact that, yes, we're working on the next generation of computing and Intel makes chips for computers. So there is a little bit of relevance, but at the same time, there are other CEOs, other tech giants that are even more directly relevant that won't even give me the time of day at all. And so I will say that uh, the CEO of Intel, Pat Gelsinger, is a very high character person, and that's very rare to find. Um, and I truly believe that people like that are the ones who win in the end, because at the end of the day, like if your relationships on average are very consumeristic and very selfish, where you are a person who's selfish yourself and the friends you make are selfish people and only care about themselves. I just don't think that great outcomes are built by individuals who care about themselves, but rather teams that elevate each other. And so with Intel, though, in today's world, you know, you have other companies like NVIDIA and Qualcomm and AMD and others who are doing very, very well. Those companies outsource all of their like like very, very foundational technologies to places in Taiwan and China, et cetera. But they don't realize that they're shooting themselves, their, themselves in the foot over the course of time because eventually those companies can, can manipulate them saying, hey, we just feel like increasing our prices. What's NVIDIA going to do? They can't really do anything. Whereas Intel, they build their product from the ground up. They are the chip manufacturer. They are the fabrication facility. Um, whereas these others, they just because it's cheaper to make it in China, they'll just make it there. And it's their core IP, their software. But Intel, they do everything from the ground up, based in the US, et cetera. So I'm really excited about Intel as a company. That's awesome. Yeah, I saw that Intel, not this past year, but for like the past like decade or so, was like the number one patents for any company yeah. in the US, which I thought was pretty Yeah, and like they, they are doing a ton to try to help the US economy, which I really appreciate. Meaning, no offense but uh, to NVIDIA or Qualcomm or the others, but like they kind of just care about their bottom line for their own company today. Like how much does it cost to make our product and how much margin do we make on it? That's all they really care about. Because yes, they're public companies and they have to like answer to their uh, investors and they every quarter they have to, um, you know, beat their earnings of the previous quarter or previous year's quarter. And with Intel, they're like, hey, our mission and our vision is to help the U.S. economy. And so sh sure, we might take some short term L's. But we do want to make sure that we're setting ourselves up for success for decades to come, not just this quarter. Uh, and that's where you have guys like Elon as well. Elon does the same thing. And Elon and Pat Gelsinger, the Intel CEO, are both very similar in that way, where they want to own the whole process. And it is generally US based. And the main reason why they go to other countries and work with other countries is to win those markets over as well, not to just fix their bottom line. 